so this is my seat setup. Those that had questions. So I just have a, what is this? Uh, one inch by two feet PVC. Just trimmed it down to size. And there's these grooves right here where the original seat would go to its lowest setting and in the highest for the tetan. Just measure it out here like that. Cut it to length here. And then I loop through the eyelet that it comes with right here. So let's put it through here. And that way it will keep the seat here from sliding down. So without this, the pipe here would slide down this track here and end up slipping down. So that's why I had to tie it up here. Um, as far as the PVC for the seat height, I uh, got one and a half inch. Um, I cut it to size. I took a hole saw all the way through on the other side here. And then a smaller hole saw and I kind of cut out the top notches for the seat. So the seat kind of snaps in. I also did it for this piece here. All right. And ideally we just would want to slide these in here loosely. It kind of just sits right there. Same with the back end here. I'll just slide it in here like so. And then as, as you stand it up, it'll sit like this. You can adjust it to wherever you want on the seat. I typically put it as far as I can. It will hit the bottom here, but it, it'll be all right. Um, I did jump in it and it is stable. Now, one thing you want to be careful for is the height of these itself. I noticed originally if they're too high, it feels better, but it's kind of unstable because you're higher up off the kayak. So mine, uh, I did trim them down and I had to re-trill them. So that's what we got. Um, and it snaps onto the bottom section of the kayak in between here and here. All right, thanks.